And welcome back to George Orwell's 1984. This is part two, chapter eight that we're reading today. Trying to stay on course with this. Uh, try not to miss any days. But we're back again. And as I keep saying, this is a very relevant book. And it always seems that every time we hit a chapter, we find out that there's something in that chapter that's relevant to today. And as we discussed in the last chapter, you know, the the state can do just about anything. It can kill you after torturing you. But it's very difficult to change how you think. And that, of course, is the ultimate goal of any totalitarian state. It's the sanction of the victim, as Ayn Rand called it. And that's exactly what totalitarian states want. They want you to say thank you for controlling them, for seizing their minds, your minds, for taking your thoughts and controlling your thoughts. They want your thanks and approval for doing that. And that's really what Orwell is getting at in this book. It's not just enslavement, but it's voluntary enslavement. And that's what dictators, totalitarian states, have always wanted. So, without further ado, let's begin chapter eight, shall we? Hi, this is David Creighton. From Craven's right and stand on guard. Join the resistance. Resolve to resist. Become a member of this station. I've been practicing journalism in one form or another for over 30 years. I've worked in print, radio, and television for a lot of prestigious publications and media outlets. I was an armed forces public affairs officer. I worked in Parliament Hill. I know how Ottawa works. And I know how corrupt federal government can be. But you can play a part in opposing Justin Trudeau's government and Justin Trudeau's plans for Canada. You can become a part of the Creighton's Right Resistance. Now, I urge you today, please support this station in any way you can. Now, ring that bell, subscribe, because that ensures you're at least going to continue to be able to watch these episodes. You'll beat the algorithm. But more importantly, I need your financial support. I hate to ask, but that's what I'm doing. I made a decision to pursue independent media because I believed it was the best possible route for me to take as a journalist and as a concerned citizen of Canada. So you can become a part of that. And at only $5, you can become a part of that on YouTube, on Substack, and with Buy Me a Copy, a one-time donation. But I need your support. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. If you've already done that, if you're already supporting the station, thank you. But if you haven't, 